Hello friends, today we will discuss one of the most important topic and that is scaffolding load capacity. How you can calculate the scaffolding load capacity. See scaffolding, many people have actually messaged me in WhatsApp regarding the scaffold, how you need to calculate the load capacity of scaffold. What is the calculation behind that? And what is the actual, what is the actual meaning? How you have to do the calculation? Everything is actually complex, thoda complex hai. Like in what we will do is that we will actually make this very simple. Okay, we will start from the basics so that you will actually understand what you have to do and all everything we will actually discuss in this video. Okay, we will actually discuss only about scaffolding load calculation and load classification of the scaffold, not the complete details like what is scaffold and what are the basic parts of scaffold that and all you will get in scaffolding training institute, STI, scaffolding training certification program that is a complete certification program in which you will be getting all the details like what are all the all this all these modules is coming under that okay the job module may be discussed kar that is coming under that okay so is module say i am actually talking about only the load capacities okay how you have to calculate that okay yehi may explain kar rahe, because this is actually the most difficult thing and isi may sabka actually the people are getting confusion so i thought this i would explain so that you will understand in a very simple way okay all our efforts would be to make this as simple as possible okay and if you have any doubts please message me in my whatsapp number you have my whatsapp number or you can just message in comment session okay so this scaffolding load capacity already you know this is an scaffold okay ye basic parts of an scaffold hai. this is the standard standard matlab jo bhi vertical mein aata hai, that is standard and once the standard is there they char standard aap rakhne ke baad, okay once the standard is there, you will actually place the horizontal pipes. This is the horizontal pipes. And that horizontal pipe is known as ledger. Ye jo horizontal pipe ko hum bolte hai, ledger. Once that ledger is there, what you will be doing? You will be placing transoms. This is the transom. Ye transoms ke upar hi hum planks rakte, scaffolding boards rakte. Okay. So these basic things and all we will discuss in scaffolding training institute, scaffolding training classes. Okay. So now let's come into the load capacity. Look, load capacity, ne to load possible. What is the load capacity of the scaffold? Hum samajne se pehle. Look, hum ek basic cheez humko dhyan mein rakhna chahiye. One of the basic thing that you must understand. Okay, before continuing in this video is that this sentence. This sentence is what basic thing. Okay, scaffold shall be capable of supporting without failure at least four times the maximum intended load. Scaffold shall be capable of supporting without failure at least four times at least four times the maximum intended load. this is very important okay so what does it mean because it's scaffold there is a scaffold okay was scaffold actually is a design capacity right what design capacity say be four times you can actually you can actually use that scaffold you can actually use that scaffold even four times more than that of the design capacity even then it will not fail okay that is what it is understood in the sentence scaffold shall be capable of supporting without failure at least four times the maximum intended load so maximum intended capacity say we have four times we can actually use that scaffold see this is not only limited to scaffold agar aap safety belt ke safety harness if you're talking about safety harness okay the one which you are calling a safety belt or if you wire rope, ke mein aap agar discuss kar rahe, if you're talking about wire rope, if you're talking about uh, rigging sling, okay, rigging belt, if you're talking about all the safety instruments, jo bhi aap safety instruments ke mein baat karenge, everything has a safe working load and everything has a maximum capacity. That maximum capacity would be four times or three times. That depends upon the calculation you must see. Okay, so this is not only limited to scaffold everything has its maximum capacity it would be actually four times or three times etc 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 okay so now we want to understand what is the load capacity of the scaffold okay yeah load capacity karne ke liye, you must understand certain terminologies okay Deko, whenever we are talking about scaffold whenever we are talking about scaffold aapko malum hai, there are light duty scaffold medium duty scaffold and heavy duty scaffold now how you have to calculate the load capacity of light duty scaffold how you have to calculate the load capacity of medium duty scaffold and how you have to calculate the load capacity of heavy duty scaffold that is the thing you must understand okay they go even light duty scaffold the use 
for what you are using it is different for example light duty scaffold would be using for very simple activities like painting or actually it will be used for inspection purpose then the medium duty scaffold would be used for different purpose like brick work and all and heavy duty scaffold will be used for heavy work okay so what should be the load capacity load capacity unka what is the load capacity and how much load that you can place on this scaffold okay how much load you can place on this scaffold what is the safe working load of that scaffold how you can calculate ye hum aaj discuss karenge okay so for discussing that for discussing that see light duty scaffold you must understand what is the bay length for discussing that you must understand what is the bay width and height okay don't worry very very simple very very simple okay see for example this is uh, take this uh, scaffold take this scaffold this is actually the skeleton of scaffold iske upar hum log planks rakhenge scaffolding board iske upar rakhenge we will keep the scaffolding board over this and then this is the platform here humko aayenge top rails and mid rails okay top rails and mid rails behind don't go so much confusion aapko bhi nahi chahiye we will actually see the very basic thing okay to idhar humko three terminologies hai first one is light duty scaffold उसका बे लेंथ के बारे में आपको समझना चाहिए देन यू मस्ट अंडरस्टैंड बे विथ एंड देन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड हाइट ओके डोंट वरी आई विल मेक दिस एज सिंपल एज पॉसिबल सी दिस इज द हाइट फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर इज द हाइट ओके दिस इज द हाइट दिस इज नोन एज द लिफ्ट हाइट एंड ऑलवेज द लिफ्ट हाइट वुड बी टू मीटर्स मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल कितना है टू मीटर्स है ऑलवेज द लिफ्ट हाइट वुड बी टू मीटर्स दैट इज द मैक्सिमम पॉसिबल हाइट ओके नाउ अगेन If one more scaffold is coming over this, see this is the lift height. Okay, देखो इधर से इधर two meters रहेगा और अभी इधर से इधर कितना रहेगा two meters. This is the lift height. इधर से इधर कितना रहेगा two meters. So every height, every height would be how much? This would be two meters. That would be the maximum height two meters. Okay, so that is known as what? That is known as lift height. That is the lift height. Okay, अभी clear है? Now see this this distance you see. Okay, this distance. This is from one standard. Okay, this is from one standard to another standard. That means the vertical standards का जो distance रहता है, okay? Vertical standards का जो distance रहता है, and that is known as bay length. Bay length, very very important term. Okay, bay length. जो vertical standards का जो distance होता है, from here to here, this is known as bay length. And this is very very important. देखो, bay length is very important. Okay, why this bay length is very important? See. You see, light duty scaffold the bay length is three meter. Medium duty scaffold the bay length is two meter. Heavy duty scaffold the bay length is one point five meter. That means what? Very simple. See, when the bay length is decreasing, when the bay length is decreasing, see this is one bay length. Okay, this is another bay length. So when the bay length is decreasing, क्या होगा? Capacity क्या होगा? Duty क्या होगा? It would be Capacity would be increasing. See this one very simple. When the bay length is decreasing, it is heavy duty. When the bay length is more, that is light duty. Okay, simple. Yar, ab itna tension mat lo. Simple calculation. See this is the bay length. When the bay length is very long, itna bada bay length hai, to uska capacity bhi kam rahega. Agar ab chota sa bay length karenge, to uska capacity zada rahega. That's right. Okay, simple thing. So this is known as bay length. So this is this one. See, this is the bay length. When the post is very, very far, इतना दूर है, बहुत ज़्यादा दूर है, that is known as one bay length. When that is more than like five meters, ten meters, then the capacity would be very, very low. And when it is very near, अभी एकदम नज़दीक में आ गया तो capacity ज़्यादा रहे. Okay, simple, simple, right? So bay length आपको समझ में आया, height आपको समझ में आया. Now you want to understand about bay width. Okay, this is bay width. ये जो है, this is bay width. Okay, this is bay width. ओके, ओके, सी एक्चुअली कैपेसिटी में जो भी कैपेसिटी में व्हेन यू आर एक्चुअली लुकिंग अबाउट व्हाट इज द कैपेसिटी ओके व्हाट इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ द स्केफोल्ड ओनली बे लेंथ विल कम इन टू प्ले ओके ओनली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द बे लेंथ बे लेंथ के हिसाब से ही ओके ओनली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द बे लेंथ ओके बे लेंथ इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी बिकॉज यू कैन सी हाइट हम लोग It will be always two meters. Height, always two meters. I have told you. Height would be always two meters. See here also it is two meter. Top also it is two meter. Here also it is two meter. Okay. Height would be always two meter. X scaffold ka upper bhi jayega to that also will be two meter. So height would be always two meter. Width, width can be different. Okay, width can be different. But width ka itna 
खास नहीं है कैन बी वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मीटर्स और टू मीटर्स मैक्स ओके बे लेंथ सी बे लेंथ वेन इट डिफर्स वेन इट इज थ्री मीटर वेन द बे लेंथ इज मोर वेन द बे लेंथ इज मोर द कैपेसिटी वुड बी लोअर इट इज लाइट टी वेन द बे लेंथ इज एक्चुअली लेस वेन द बे लेंथ इज एक्चुअली लेस थोड़ा ही है बे लेंथ then the capacity would be high okay this is very simple okay so see light duty scaffold bay length hum log ne 3 meter rakha bay width hum log ne 1.25 meter rakha height hum log ne 2 meter rakha okay light duty scaffold the bay length would be always more it is 2 3 meters bay width it is 1.5 meter and the height it is 2 meters okay all other uh, medium duty and heavy duty the height is same 2 meters 2 meters as i already told you Bay width also same. We have kept it same for our easiness of calculation. But only only difference would be in bay length. Okay, bay length. Okay. Now for the calculation, for the sake of calculation, see, you must understand one of the most important thing. What we are calculating. Okay, we are calculating actually how much load you can put on one bay. How much load you can put on one bay? This is actually how this is what we are calculating. Okay, this is the working platform. So, is ke upper kitna apko load dal sakte? This is one bay. So, how much load you can put on this? That is what we are calculating. Okay, that is what we are calculating. So, what is the height? Height it is two meter height. What is the width? Width it is one point two five. What is the length? Bay length. Bay length it is actually what three meter. so how you can calculate this very simple see how you can calculate to calculate the load on one bay you are actually calculating how much weight you can put on this okay scaffolding board so for calculating this it would be length area of the bay what is the area of the bay see how you can calculate the area of any 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 rectangle okay rectangle ka area kaise aap calculate karenge length into width okay to iska length kitna hai length is actually 3 meter okay iska length ho gaya 3 meter ओके एंड व्हाट इज द विथ विथ इट इज 1.25 हाइट इधर आता नहीं हाइट आएगा तो ये वॉल्यूम हो जाएगा वी आर नॉट कैलकुलेटिंग द वॉल्यूम वी आर एक्चुअली कैलकुलेटिंग द एरिया एरिया कितना रहेगा 3 मीटर 1.25 इसका लेंथ कितना 1.25 इसका कितना 3 मीटर सो 3 मीटर 1.25 मीटर इट इज वुड बी 3.75 मीटर स्क्वायर मीटर मीटर आएगा मीटर स्क्वायर ओके सो 3.75 मीटर स्क्वायर देन what can be the load applied on one bay okay so three what can be the load applied on one bay one bay ka length kitna tha that that was actually 3 meter and this was actually 1.25 to iska area calculate karne ke liye 3 meter into 1.25 it would be 3.75 meter square humko iska area mila okay iska area mila ab iske upar kitna load apply kar sakte how much load can be applied on this one bay that is actually 3.75 the one which we got 3.75 humko jo mila hai That multiplied into the load capacity. उसके साथ हमको load capacity से multiply करने. तो what is this load capacity? ये 125 किलोग्राम पर मीटर स्क्वायर हमको किधर से मिले? So that we got from here. Simple. Load capacity of light duty scaffold it is 1.25. ये constant है. Okay, 1.25 मीटर स्क्वायर. Load capacity of medium duty scaffold it is 250 किलोग्राम पर मीटर स्क्वायर. Load capacity of heavy duty it is 375 किलोग्राम. पर मीटर स्क्वायर ये एक्चुअली कांस्टेंट है दिस इज कांस्टेंट वैल्यू सो टू कैलकुलेट द लोड कैपेसिटी ऑफ लाइट ड्यूटी स्केफोर्ड बिकॉज़ ये लाइट ड्यूटी का हम लोग ने एक्चुअली 3 मीटर डाला दैट वुड बी 3 मीटर इनटू 1.25 इनटू लोड कैपेसिटी व्हिच इज कांस्टेंट दैट मींस कितना आ गया 468 किलोग्राम पर मीटर स्क्वायर सेफ वर्किंग लोड पर बे ओके नाउ दिस 468 देखो आपको एक्चुअली लोड कैपेसिटी मिल गया पर बे में कितना आपको अप्लाई कर सकते हैं आपको मिल गया लेकिन देर इज वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओके वन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग देखो आपको अभी मिल गया लेकिन सी दिस फोर सिक्सटी एट किलोग्राम पर मीटर स्क्वायर सेफ वर्किंग लोड आपको मिल गया दैट इज राइट बट नाउ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट वॉट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस आपको इसमें क्या समझ में आया देखो एक लाइट ड्यूटी स्केफोल्ड में ओके एक लाइट ड्यूटी स्केफोल्ड का एक वन बे में आपको फोर सिक्सटी एट किलोग्राम पर मीटर स्क्वायर सेफ वर्किंग लोड यू कैन अप्लाई now what you have understood from this what i have understood is that actually three people can work plus 150 kg load can be applied on one day okay on and light duty scaffold actually three people can work how you have understood that three people can work because one person's average weight would be 60 to 90 kg okay so three people easily can work then also it is only 300 kg plus 150 kg average weight 
of the tools you can apply on one day. Okay, one more thing you have understood. This 468 kilogram per meter square, aapko ek bay mein apply kar sakta hai. One more thing you can understand. One more thing you have understood. What you have understood? Scaffold shall be capable of supporting without failure at least four times the maximum intended load, which we have told in the beginning itself. Scaffold can actually support at least four times the maximum intended load. Uska jo capacity se bhi four times usko support kar sakta hai. See, dekho, what is the capacity of light duty scaffold? It is 125 kilogram per meter square. Actually, light duty scaffold have the load capacity of 125 kilogram per meter square. Okay, so now you have got 468. 468 up for So 125 ka four times kitana ho gaya. Approximately 468. Okay, dekho, 125 kilogram per meter square up load capacity. Hai. Aapka actual area length is na, bay length it is 3 meter. Okay, width it is 125 kilogram. So you know that 3 into 125 into 1, 1.25 into 125, how much you will get? 468. So iska 125 iska actual capacity hai, iska 4 times ho gaya what? Safe working load. Okay, this is how you have to calculate medium duty and this is how you have to calculate heavy duty. Please calculate and write the readings below in the comment box. And this is how you have to actually do the load calculation. If you have any doubt, please comment in the comment box. And if you are actually interested in doing this scaffolding training institutes, scaffolding training, you can contact me via WhatsApp. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to this channel and please share in your WhatsApp group so that maximum people will understand how they have to calculate the load capacity in the easiest way. Thank you.